Hello, and welcome to the first episode of our Science of Reading series, where we introduce you to three in three, three tech tools in three minutes, or as close to that as possible. I'm Lisa Flanders Dick, and I'm thrilled to have you as we begin our journey through the science and art of teaching reading. The closing lesson for each module will include a Tech Connect section, and this section includes our micro podcast series. In this episode, you'll learn about three tools you can utilize for every module throughout this professional learning opportunity to help you stay organized and engaged. Our first tech tool is GoodNotes. If you're someone who loves keeping digital notes, this is the tool for you. Each module includes handouts, and with GoodNotes, you can easily upload the PDFs and annotate directly on the documents. This way, you can highlight important points, jot down your thoughts, and keep everything neatly organized in one place. It's perfect for those who prefer a digital notebook over the traditional paper binder. Okay, are you ready for the second tool? It is a note-taking feature that is built right into Canopy, the DOE's learning management system. As you navigate throughout the content, you'll notice a small note-taking icon located in the top right corner of the screen. Whenever you come across something that is, resonates with you or a key takeaway you don't want to forget, you can use this tool to jot down your notes directly within the platform. This is a convenient way to keep your thoughts organized without ever having to leave the professional learning interface. All right, our final tool is all about keeping track of resources. Each module includes numerous resources to help you manage these we recommend using Pinterest as a bookmarking tool. You might have used this tool previously, you know, for favorite outfits, maybe decoration ideas, especially around Christmas time. But it is a quick and easy way to organize your professional learning life as well. With Pinterest, you can create a board specifically for this professional learning opportunity. And then you can save all of the resources you find useful or want to revisit later. It is a simple yet effective way to ensure you never lose track of the valuable content shared in each module. Don't forget to check out the section feature in Pinterest. This would be a great way to organize your module resources into sections within your board. You can even utilize group Pinterest boards to collaborate with other educators also completing the science and art of teaching reading. That wraps up our first micro podcast supporting the Science and Art of Teaching Reading Project. Remember, these tools, GoodNotes, Canopy Note Tool, and Pinterest are available to support your learning experience, helping you stay organized, engaged, and ready to implement the strategies you'll be exploring in the modules ahead. We're excited to have you on this journey, and we cannot wait to see how these tools introduced in each module enhances your professional learning and teaching practice. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next episode.